Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust Projects video series. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust Navigation, Rust with Drones, Rust for Autonomous Cars, everything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to use gazebo controllers and chakras to expand the controllers to an entire robot. In this video, you'll learn how to set controllers for each joint of a robot and send reference commands to these controllers. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, the online academy where you'll find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required. You'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with our video. This is the fifth chapter of the series. So I'm going to start from the previous project, video number four. Let's open it. If you don't have an account yet in RDS, you can qu create one and start using it for free. Just following the link at the description of the video. Okay. So let's start opening opening the IDE. Let's put it like this. And let's open the files you're going to modify. So the first one is the main file of the robot where we have the description of the robot. Uh, in the last video we have simplified it to start using the controller so let's uncomment this and now we have the entire robot again. And also we are going to use this file here because uh, we have set our transmissions in the main file but I think it's uh, too much information to this file so I'm gonna just remove it and uh, we have to have a transmission for a joint so instead of creating a transmission just before the joint in this file I'm gonna put it to this function here which are the which is the joint function which is generating the joint I'm gonna also generate a transmission at the same time okay so let's start doing it uh, so for this method let me copy here I'm gonna paste and explain what we're doing. So now we're generating also a transmission for each joint. So we have this element, this new element here. And I'm using the same name, but with this prefix here, trans, which means transmission. And the same type of transmission, simple transmission, E4 joint interface, and the motor, the same name of the joint, but with the motor prefix. And of course, the name of the joint has to be the same. So let's keep it like that. Okay. And we have also to include some some new parameters because we don't want you want to use the same effort, lower, upper, and velocity values for every joint. So let's create some new values. I'm gonna call it limit effort. This one, let's call like limit lower value, limit upper value, and limit velocity. Okay, and don't forget you have to add these parameters to these variable params here at the beginning of the macro. So let's do like this copy and paste. Okay, and it's enough. Now, for each joint, we have to to use the new values. We have to pass the new values. We have defined it, so we are passing here uh, parent and child name. And after that, now we have also to pass limits of the effort, the lower value, the upper value, and the velocity. Okay, so these are the new parameters you have to send for each joint, don't forget. So let's do like this. Uh, for the next joint. We're gonna do the same. For the third one. Uh, link three and four. I'm using the same values because uh, it's not the point here to to define these values. I'm just using 
some values that is enough to test the robot. And for the last joint, oh, here it is, and it's done. So now we have uh, five joints, and for each joint we have a new element, transmission, not just the simplified robot. And one more thing that we have to do is actually two things we have to do. It's very important that you don't forget to modify also this config file because we have for each joint and for each transmission we, are, we want to use our controllers, we have to define this parameter. Okay, so this is how we have to do for this file. So uh, we had only for joint one and joint two. Now we have for the rest of the joints of the robot, uh, five joints total. And we're defining the kind of controller, if our controller, joint position controller, the name of the joint, so base link to link one, link one to link two, two to three, three to four, and four to five. Finally, and also inside the spawn file, spawn launch file, we have to define the joints we're going to use. Don't forget, we have to add right here. Uh, and this is very important that you pay attention to these files because we're not modifying uh, the URDF of the robot. The URDF is just representing the, the elements that we have for the robot. But the real magic, the one is going to implement the topics and the parameters and of the games of the controllers, it's done by the gazebo plugin. And this gazebo plugin relies on the spawn launch file. When you spawn the controller manager, you have to define the joints you want to control. So you have to define the joints and the name of the parameter you are defining in this file here. Of course, you could define the parameters also in the launch file, but it's much easier and much clearer to define in a in a file like this. Okay. So now that we have everything set up for the robot, let's start the simulation. So I'm going to open and use an empty simulation. And from a terminal, I'm going to spawn the robot. Ah, okay, one more thing that it's really nice to do just to help us debugging the robot. I'm going to also add some RKT nodes to my spawn launch file. So this way we can reconfigure the PID uh, controller parameters and also publish the values using RKT Publisher. It's much easier than using the terminal for each value. So I'm also going to open graphical tools. Let it open here. In the meantime, the simulation must be ready. There it is. And let's spawn the robot. So we have ROS launch, my robotic manipulator, spawn. Wait a few seconds and we may have the robot right here. There it is. So we have the robot and as you can see the robot didn't fall, so our controllers are working. And you can see in the messages that the controllers were loaded properly. So let's see in graphical tools. Let's put the robot to the right side, more or less, right here. Let's use RKT Publisher. And let's try, for example, the last joint. So I have to select here, join number five common topic, let's add here to the list, and now I'm publishing to this joint. We have to get it closer because it's uh, hard to see, and also because it's around its z-axis, so it's very hard to see this joint moving. Okay, I would say it's almost impossible to see it moving because it's uh, Yeah, so let's try for the next joint, joint number four. Let's add it here. 
joined them before. Just put a small value here. And as you can see, we can move this join also. Uh, of course, I'm just using the PID gains. I'm just using uh, values high enough to see the robot moving. It's not tuned or optimized to this robot. And this is something we're gonna do in the next videos. But for instance, we can send the values. And as you can see, the robot moves. So let's put a negative value here, for example. Ah, okay, the limit of the robot, the upper limit, the lower limit, sorry, that we have defined it here for the joint. Number four is zero, so of course I cannot send a negative value to the robot, okay? Uh, let's try to the joint number three. So let's put zero here. It's not gonna make any difference. And let's see if we can move also this joint. And yes, we can. So that's it for today. So now we have the entire robot being controlled by the joints. Don't forget if you're using RDS, don't forget to save your project. I'm gonna save like manipulator video number five. And you can also use git, git repository to save your modifications. This is what I'm going to do after recording the video. So that's all for today. In the description of the video, you'll find a complete course about ROS controllers and a course about URDF and all the resources mentioned in the video. Did you like the video? If you did, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. Either you like it or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area. See you!